QuickBooks Online handles payroll differently. So when you switch from QuickBooks Desktop, you'll have to check your payroll setup and enter year-to-date info. To get started, go to the Employees tab. QuickBooks will guide you through each of these steps. Review your employees' info. Enter what you've paid each employee. Provide your company tax information. And enter the year-to-date payroll history for all your employees. When you click Complete Payroll Setup, you'll need to tell QuickBooks whether you've paid employees this year and when you'll run your next payroll. From there, you'll see a list of your employees. Click an employee to review and add details if necessary. Review the withholdings to check that the employee's W-4 info is correct. Make sure the pay schedule is right. Then review the pay rate and any additional pay types like overtime, sick pay, and bonus. For vacation pay, select how your employees accrue hours. If your employees earn vacation time each pay period or per hour worked, just enter the hours per year and QuickBooks Online will automatically calculate how many vacation hours to bank on each paycheck. It does the same for sick pay. Next, enter the employee's non-tax deductions, like health insurance or retirement benefits, and whether you want to use direct deposit or paper checks. Now you'll need to provide the year-to-date details for this employee. All the information is available on the Payroll Summary Report in QuickBooks Desktop. Using that report, enter the employee's total wages, deductions, and taxes for prior quarters. Then enter the same information for the year-to-date as of today column. QuickBooks uses the net pay to double-check that your numbers are accurate. Complete these steps for each employee. When you've finished, it's time to enter your payroll tax information. Confirm your business details. Then review federal and state taxes. In the final step, Enter your prior payrolls. These are totals across all your employees. First, enter the total payroll for each pay period in the current quarter. You'll also find this info on the Payroll Summary Report in QuickBooks Desktop. Each screen represents the totals you paid all the employees on that date. Next, enter taxes like Company Paid Federal Unemployment, or FUTA, that need to be broken down by quarter on forms. That's it for setup but you'll still have to enter payroll tax payments you've made. When it's time to pay taxes, go to the Payroll Tax tab and click Pay Taxes. QuickBooks Online needs to know about any taxes you paid in QuickBooks Desktop. You can enter them now, or if you don't have time, just click Remind Me Later. To learn more about reconciling prior tax payments or how to run payroll in QuickBooks Online, check out our other videos.